So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to find the area of 2D figures and the volume of cylinders, cones, and spheres. So the first part is going to be a review of the areas of basic 2D figures like the square, the rectangle, right triangle, trapezoid, parallelogram, and a sphere, sorry, a circle. Um, so make sure you use the height, not the slant height, for the parallelogram and the trapezoid. And for the circle, the area is basically pi r squared, and you can also find the radius by dividing diameter by 2, which is what I'm doing here, pi times diameter divided by 2 squared. And to find the diameter, you can also divide the circumference by pi. So this is the formula for the volume of a cylinder. It is pi r squared times the height. So pi r squared is basically the area of a circle times the height. So I'm going to be showing you an example of how to find the volume of a cylinder. So it is asking us what is the volume of the cylinder. And the cylinder has a height of 11 centimeters and a radius of 4 centimeters. And make sure it is the radius, not the diameter. If it has a diameter, not the radius, then you divide the diameter by 2. So you basically just plug in the numbers, pi times radius squared, which is 4 squared, times the height, which is 11. And the volume is about 552.64 centimeters cubed. And make sure you have the centimeters cubed or whatever units you have, because that's important or you'll get points off on a test. So this is the formula of the volume of a cone. It is basically the same as the volume of a cylinder just divided by 3 because the volume of a cone is one third the volume of a cylinder if they all have if they both have the same height and radius. So again, this is an example of how to find the volume of a cone. So for this one, you have to use 3.14 for pi. Sometimes it will say use 22 sevenths for pi, so that's why you need to pay attention to that. So the radius of this cone is 20 and the height is 45. So you just basically plug in the numbers pi times 20 squared, which is the radius squared, times the height divided by 3, and you solve that, and that is 18,840 units cubed. So moving on to the formula of the volume of a sphere. This one is a little bit different than the cone and the cylinder, but it is 4 thirds times pi are cubed. Make sure it's cubed or you will get everything wrong. So again, this is an example of how to solve um, the volume of a sphere. So again, it says use 3.14 for pi and to round to the nearest hundredths. Hundredth. So that is important because you have to round and you can't just leave it as a thousandth or whatever. So the radius of the sphere is 19 inches. So you plug in 19 into the formula and uh, make sure you cube it and pretty much all you need to know for the volume of a sphere is the radius so if you know that you're good to go and the volume of the sphere is 228,716.35 inches cubed and as you see I ran it to the nearest hundredth so now that you know the basics of the volume of a sphere, cone, and cylinder, I'm going to show you something a little more complicated, like applying the Pythagorean theorem to the volume of a cone. Now, if you're not familiar with this, it is basically um, how to find the either of the three sides of a right triangle. So, as you see, it's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So, the a squared, a is the base, the B is the height and the C is the hypotenuse of the right triangle. So, again, um, we have to find the volume of the cone, not the radius 
but the volume. And we have to use 3.14 for pi. So we, what we're trying to figure out is the radius. So we have to find the radius and then find the volume of this cone. So the height of this cone is 35 meters. The hypotenuse of this cone is 37 meters. And we're trying to figure out the radius. So here I'm drawing out a cross section, I guess, of the cone to show you the dimensions so they'll be easier to see. So now we're trying to figure out the radius. So basically, it's a squared, which is x or a, however you want to call it. So a squared, which is what we're trying to figure out, plus 35 squared equals 37 squared. We can solve that, and the radius will be 12. So now that we know the radius, we can figure out the volume. And we basically plug in the radius and the height. Make sure you use the height, not the slant height. Again, I'm seeing this for like the third time, but it is very important. So again, pi uh, 12 squared times 35 divided by 3. And also, I forgot to put the 35 in parentheses, but you're supposed to put 35 in parentheses unlike um, putting variables, not in parentheses, you have, don't have to do that, but, sorry I'm talking too much, if I'm confusing you then, I'm sorry, but the answer is 5,275.2 meters cubed. So now, I'm going to show you the volume of a composite figure. Again, this is more complicated stuff. So, this figure has half of a sphere and a cylinder. So, assuming that, um, the height is 12 meters, and the circumference is 31.4, we have to figure out the volume of this composite figure. And it says, three, use 3.14 for pi and to round to the nearest whole number, so we can't leave it as a decimal. So to find the radius of this composite figure is to actually divide the circumference by diameter, sorry, by pi, and that will that way we'll find the diameter and to find the radius we have to divide the diameter by two and so the radius is five so to find the volume of the cylinder we have to plug in five and twelve so pi five squared times twelve um is equal to 942 meters cubed to find the volume of the hemisphere we have to find half of the volume of the sphere so we have to um, plug in 5 for the radius, so it's 2 thirds pi times 5 cubed, and that is 2 times pi times 125 divided by 3, and that is, the volume of the hemisphere is 83.3 uh, repeating pi, and if you multiply that, that is... 261.6 repeating, and please ignore that pi I put next to the answer because um, I did that accidentally, so please ignore the pi. And now, to find the volume of the composite figure, you have to add the volume of the cylinder and the hemisphere together, and that equals to, I'm being very dramatic, um, 1,203.6 repeating meters cubed. Now that is not the final answer because the final answer is actually 1,204 meters cubed because I did not round to the nearest whole number. But thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and like and I hope this video helped you with math and comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or obviously comments.